subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. Second, you want to get a pillow like this? This is my face, okay? This is a really nice pillow that my Aunt Marcy got me. Thank you. You can click the link in the description. You won't be able to get this pillow yet, but all my merch and stuff, you can get it. So do me a favor, subscribe, then click the link. <sighs> Alrighty. Um, so something really big happened this week. Everybody who uh, didn't really follow up with the news cycle. Um, I don't Andrew, know what you're talking about. Andrew Tate. What? You're like hero. Your hero. Your no, hero. not my hero. Your no, hero. your hero. Go your, back. your number one. Your back. hero. Go back. Go back in the episodes. I condemn him. But um, Trey, clip it. Uh, uh, Shad, who? Uh, I, I thought we were the ones that always said that he's a bad guy, right? I, I, I <laughs> oh, you're stuttering. I think you're always innocent until proven guilty. I think you should have just went with what I was going with there. But no, sorry. but here's what I'm saying. I, I believe think all you're women. always. I, I believe all women. I mean, I, I, I don't. All? I don't. All's kind of a bold statement, no? All's a very bold I believe bold all statement. women. All women. I'm a woman. Do you believe... Never mind. Don't. I was, never mind. I was going to say something. I can't. Yeah, just keep it to yourself. No. <coughs> this probably oh. wasn't going to be good. No, okay. it would be very bad. Yeah. Like, yeah. What? No, I can't. What? I, I, I don't want to give myself extra Do I believe work. in transgender bathrooms? Yes. That's not where I was going, but... Yes. Would you take a shit in a transgender bathroom? I feel like this kind of has to deal with uh, furries in a way. It does, in a sense. I mean, would yes. you take a shit in a transgender bathroom? No. Yes. Here's the thing. Would you take a shit in a female bathroom if it was the only bathroom available? I have. I've done I that have before. Well. We've all done that before. Situation. I was once invited into a female bathroom on St. Patrick's Day. From another female? Yes. And she was hot. Um, Whoa, we can't there? say that. You can't say that. I just did. What did she want to do in there? Um, probably. Wait, you can't say what? Oh. oh. <laughs> it's Ooh. fine. No, it's, it's not like that. It's fine. I'll no. just tell her later. I'll this, tell her to watch at least was, two minutes in. This is in March. Um... But she, I, at the time, I had long hair. Okay. And she, I was like, oh, are you sure? You know, I'm, I'm a feminist. She's like, oh, no, you know, you've, I'm not a feminist. Uh, but she's like, oh, you have long hair. No, it's okay. She was hammered. Everybody was hammered. <laughs> there, were like, there were like 10 girls in there, bro. It was at a um, place in Austin Town. Uh, Frenchies. Frenchies, yeah, of course. It's the only place to go on yeah. St. Patrick's Day. My buddy once, uh, he, was in, he lives in Cleveland. So he was at a bar in Cleveland, and uh, there was like a bachelorette party there. So he started talking to one of the girls, and she was like a big time liberal, and he's like a big time conservative. And he just started going, "I think Lori Lightfoot is doing a great job with what she's doing with this country." <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> uh, she's the mayor of Chicago. Yeah. We'll we'll put a. She's a really, really, really good mayor of Chirac. Dude, listen, she looks like a fucking man. She's bald too. Yeah. Not to shit on women who are bald because like if you have cancer, I don't care. But like the, this lady does not have cancer at all. Like not at all. Some bald girls. Thanks are for hot, clarifying, though. man. Yeah. Some bald girls yeah. are hot. I no. mean, I can get down with some bald girls. Like Amber, Amber Rose. Rose. Amber Rose. I think hey, that's about it. Chop the top off, like I'm Amber Rose. Exactly. Yeah. But I think that's honestly it. That's the only bald girl I could probably get down with. Yeah. I don't. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, some some other ones maybe. I could get down with bald chicks that have cancer. Anyway. Do you so, guys? Um. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Do you guys pee in the shower? Yes. No. Hundred percent. You don't pee in the shower. No, do, I don't. Do you um? Like you just said, yeah. Do the other thing. It yes, it depends. It's harder though in the shower. No, it's not. Shower, but you won't. I think. In the shower. I think it's That's hard. a little bit weird. I think it's Dude, harder in the shower. I feel like honestly, every time no? I get in the shower, it's the first thing I do is just take a piss. You just take a piss. Me I too. Just take a piss Fair enough. Shower. When the when the warm water hits your stomach. Yeah, you're like I just gotta pee. All right, now here, here here's the thing. Do you like um? Do you wash the floor after it with soap? No, no, because it's the first thing I do. So then all the soap that rinses off my body just cleans the fucking shower floor. Uh, you know what I do? I get squeegee it. No, I get the shitty soap because we have multiple soaps. You just put soap on Listen, the... F I get the shitty body soap. The dial. I, no, no, no. I get the shitty body soap. I um, get it, squirt a little bit out of the bottle, and then I get my foot, and I scrub it in, and then it's clean. Mom, I hope you're not watching, but if you are, you, you guys, know... I you guys take baths? Or no? Every now and then I will Honestly, take a bath. Honestly, I've taken a bath like within the past year. Like of This is the last episode that we're recording in 2022. In oh, shit. You're so right. So I have yeah, definitely yeah, yeah. taken... like what, what? What's the line for? Like five? Let's say the line's five. Okay. I probably am hitting the under, but that's... I mean, I would say it's definitely four, four and a half. Okay. Well, okay. I want to ask both of you guys. What are things that you want to leave in 2022? Did we talk about this yeah, we, last we, time? We did this. I was the one that brought this up. Did we do this? With in the, an was this that's no, I, th I think it, it was KP. It was KP. KP. Yeah, we okay, did. I wasn't sure if it was Mikey. Yeah, Never was mind. Um, oh, I want to go back to the... Leave, leave that one. I want to yeah. go back to the Andrew Tate thing because what he got like arrested for was kind of like... 
It was nuts. It was, so no, here's no. Thing. Here's the thing. Well, it was yeah, money laundering. It was just an accusation, but it yeah. was for quote unquote sex trafficking. Sex. Tra- I saw. I saw another news article that was sex trafficking, money rape, laundering, rape, and something else. But then Romanian, uh, like yeah. Romanian officers, said it was literally just for money laundering. That was the only, and they just were brought in for yeah. question. They were never detained. They were, or well, they were detained, but they were never, um, like, completely wow. under arrest or whatever. I don't know, but yeah. they were never like charged with anything like that you know it was all just questions about money laundering it was yeah I, the only question i have is like why so many officers for just money laundering they swatted his fucking house that's what house. i'm saying they like, swatted it i think because he lives in a mansion and so he lives in such a big place that maybe they just brought multiple guys feds did a sweep yeah they, did. they swapped that bitch that's why i'm like i don't I mean, dudes were wearing masks to cover their identities. Like, that's like some serious like shit. It was, like, it was wild. But I mean, money like, Andrew just tweeted. Oh. What did he tweet, Trey? I can't think of it. He said the Matrix agents were sent after me. Yeah. Yes, or the Matrix sent their agents. Yeah. What he was talking about, agents. he yeah. predicted this on the Nelk podcast. I know. He said, I have, th- yeah, we were talking about this this morning. Yeah, he did. You saw it too. Um, but for everybody who didn't, he said, I have three lives. So the, I've got canceled. Right, that's my first life. Uh, the second life that they're going to take is when they arrest me. And the third one will be when they kill me or if they kill me or whatever. So oh. he predicted. The second one, the two which is kind of fucking wild, I know. Um, which kind of makes you question, like, who's pulling all the strings behind and why? everything? And, and why? I'm not talking about in Romania, right, because he got arrested in Romania or whatever, but, like, in general in the world, like, when they say, for example, that um, you'll own nothing and be happy, the World Economic Forum, um, or, like... Just, like, act like A-list actors. Like, I don't know if you're familiar with the conspiracy of... Um, this thing called adrenochrome. It's basically like baby blood and um, like a, a conspiracy that uh, like Hollywood elites they take, take this baby, baby blood, blood to um, appear younger yeah. and stuff like that. And then That's Tom Cruise. like uh, Tom Cruise. Yeah. I, he does look Tom, he does Tom look Cruise. He hasn't fucking aged. Well, he, there was a picture like probably seven months ago. I mean, from yeah, the he baseball aged, game. but like he doesn't. I, th- I think there's a fine line between that and then like aging gracefully. But I saw a tweet by Jeffree Star. This was, uh, and oh. anybody who doesn't know who Jeffree Star is, you might roll your eyes, whatever. Such, such a credible source. This, well, listen, this is a more conservative, I, the, the, the show has like a conservative more leading audience, I would say, or like people that are like center right. But um, at least and Luke's from, hose. From, at least from what I think. Balances it knows. out. Okay, so Jeffree Star, for anybody who doesn't know, is a, uh, like a makeup tutorial artist, got famous on YouTube, right? Um, a guy or a girl? Guy, but dresses up like a girl, whatever. Is it? Honestly, she, though, like she, of all of them, he? of all of them, and I don't, I, as soon as I said that, I'm going to bite my tongue because I'm going to cluster one group when I say them. Um, Jeffrey Star was on, was he on Nelk? Yeah. He, no, Impulsive. It was Impulsive. Was he Impulsive? impulsive? It was Impulsive. Dude, impulsive. honestly, I'd fucking chill with him. He like, seems like he's a pretty super cool, cool. Yeah. Super fucking cool. Like, but, he doesn't care about anything. Well, like, apparently from this shit that I've just read, this was all today, uh, December 30th. He was in some pretty fucking crazy shit. So this is at 12.09 p.m. today. He goes, what a, f- what a crazy fucking year, dot, dot, dot. I escaped the Illuminati in 2021, and they still haven't killed me. Every day I wake up grateful. That's the first tweet. And then this one is 10 minutes later. A thread? 12.19. No, no, no. <clears throat> just, These are screenshots. Just rants yeah. of tweets. Second tweet. In 2020, I was going to expose everything, dot, dot, dot. In a matter of days... The Hollywood elite tried to ruin my entire career, villainized me, and flooded the news with lies to discredit me. If you guys only knew the truth about what they are doing to Britney and Kanye. Britney Griner? No. Spears? Britney Spears. Oh. So I don't know if you've been following... Put these, put these tweets up on Hell Send You Pictures. Send me pictures. Yeah. I don't know if you've been following the whole Britney Spears. It's not even drama, but throughout like the past... Like her parents and stuff? Well, or her that, other dad's that, her money? But throughout the past couple months, she's been posting like um, like nude videos on like social media, right? I've been seeing... All right. yeah. It was a so, while so, ago, but so, I did see so them. Cover, right. She was covering up her breasts, and I think her... Um, oh, I did see those. Her vagina was covered too, but it was it was just odd. And people are like, "What's what's going on? Is she on anything?" She recently got married too, and she's talking about in these posts like she's finally free. Now maybe that's the conservative shit from her dad, which he guess I guess he had the majority of all the money. He what she made whatever and he then, had up until this year earlier this year I think um, unless they haven't signed it away. He was in control of all of her which funds. Is, which is fucking crazy because she's in her 40s. Yeah. Really? Well, she's it was because she was under... Uh, uh, we should have really done a research before talking about this. Yeah. But they were under some sort of contract, I think, anything, or something yeah. like that, where he just never signed it away. And they put her... Um, 
I think they like just deemed her not fit to have all that money or yeah, something. That's the there crazy. was something going on. That's okay. the crazy thing with like childhood celebrities, like actors and stuff, Macaulay, that are, and like singers, Culkin. right? Like Macaulay Culkin, exactly. like all his well, money from Macaulay, Home Alone and stuff. But well, to be yeah. fair, Macaulay Culkin seems like he's like normal. Well, he t- he's one. Of, he's one. Of, but like compared to some of the other people, uh, let's backtrack. I mean, like not recently, yeah. But that's not what I'm saying. In these past couple, no, he was. He's a big druggie and stuff like that. Well, that no, I'm before. saying. I'm saying. I'm saying today, like right now. Right, but at the same time, when you start talking about like, yeah. when you sign these contracts when you're young, and then you turn around and I'm not disagreeing with you. Right, I'm just saying, like when you when you sign these contracts when you're really young to have your parents have your money and then all of a sudden you turn 18 or whatever but then you turn a leaf and you just become like a drug addict or like a psycho like uh what's his name orlando brown no that's the guy from that's so Raven. yeah he, he's you know, locked up right now isn't he yeah um no who shia labeouf <coughs> oh yeah yeah like is he, is he all these yeah. huh yeah. Yeah, he's probably. normal now but yeah i mean right, you like, could argue I mean, that he's everybody's, not normal now uh, yeah I'm, well, he's definitely come down like he had like that big spurt where it like shit hit the fan for him yeah yeah um after transformers and stuff and like indiana jones he was on india he was on the fourth indiana he played his son my thing is right, oh, right yeah. my thing right like with the whole like uh jeffrey star thing it's like jeffrey well, star is also somebody who has a noted drug history i wasn't done either there's it, more it's tweets. like it's like uh, how much can you put you know, stock into some, that when somebody has a noted drug history, well, I think. Well, hold on. So, so. He, he referenced Britney and then also Kanye. We don't have to explain everything that Kanye has went through in the past couple of months. Everybody knows. We don't. All right. So we'll explain no, it. No, basically. He, he went on. No, he went on a rant. He said he was going to go DEFCON 3 on the Jews. Yeah, no. And then he went on uh, InfoWars with Alex Jones, who's not exactly the most... Um, he was the most normal guy in the person. room. Dude, that's the thing that was like even during guy. that, even during that fucking whole thing, Alex Jones was like, the most "But you're guy. kidding, right?" Yeah, and, and <laughs> it was like dead serious. Yeah. Alex yeah. Jones was like trying to talk him down. And he, of all people, Alex <laughs> Jones was like. You're not but really an Nazi. You're not, like you're not really serious, cause I swear to God, I'm fucking serious. And he, and he, <laughs> he, he literally said that he loved Hitler, and he said that there were like there was good things about Hitler, and he was speaking in terms of like. I and mean, I'll be honest with you, though, not not not, not to cut you off. Uh-uh. But basically, what Kanye did is he said, "I love Hitler," and he actually like meant it too, and he it went too far um, to the point where he wasn't just appreciating like the innovation that came out of uh, Nazi Germany. He was like actually agreeing with like all the shit. But what came to, out of Nazi Germany that we were like, yeah, um, cars, other inventions. What I wanted to talk about, you Showers. just brought up, <laughs> you just brought up the, uh, <laughs> you just brought up the. Uh, we're gonna ignore that. You just brought up. Hitler offing himself, yeah. and there was the conspiracy that he was like still alive. I can't remember who. Oh, Theo. Theo Vaughn. On this past weekend, he did. He interviewed. Was it Theo? There was something. I think I saw it. On, I saw it somewhere, and um, they they did an interview with this guy who did the show Finding Hitler or whatever. And I forget. I th- I feel it's a Theo Tim, quote. Is it Tim Kennedy? Who you're talking about the guy that did did the Hitler thing. He might have done the Finding yeah, Hitler maybe, series, maybe. Tim Kennedy. but somebody. But he was being interviewed yeah. by somebody, and they were like, "Oh, did you find him?" And Tim Kennedy was like, "Well, he <laughs> is dead. Like that's not the moral of the yeah, show. That, that, that's a Theo thing. <laughs> it's yeah. a Theo thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, did like, you find oh, him? Hey, you find him out yeah. there in the mountains, man. I know yeah. he's been hiding yeah. out there in the mountains. My uncle Sai, he's out there. Yeah. My uncle, yeah, my uncle Sai, so he's over there in the mountains smoking. <laughs> no, I fucking love Theo, dude. Theo, Theo, Theo is great. I want to finish this Jeffrey Star thing because oh, yeah, there was three. So it was the first one. Listen, 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 because it it it's kind of scary. So. It's under the what a fucking crazy year, the first one. Somebody tweeted under that, right? They go, the elites are real. Kanye isn't hiding because they are trying to get him for exposing a lot of shit. Blood sacrifices are real. Stay safe, Jeffrey. Jeffrey commented under that guy. He goes, you have no idea what you were talking about, dot, dot, dot. It's 10 times worse than you can even imagine. And then so I told you about the one in 2020 when he referenced Britney and Kanye. Uh, If you only knew the truth about Britney and Kanye. And then there's this last one. The last one says, that came at 1233. Like 20 minutes uh, after PM, uh, PM This is all in the afternoon And then he goes For the last one It said Anyone who challenges the system Gets eliminated And I feel like With the rise of the internet Like all the shit Like I don't know If you guys believe in this stuff But I think like Generally like There's people like Pulling the streets, not streets, strings, uh, strings and like, um, like Hollywood for like Hollywood elites, yeah. politicians, billionaires. How does who, Jeffrey Star get involved with the Illuminati? Um, he was to, he he was talking about like he's the wealthy. People. Don't get me yeah, wrong, he's wealthy, but I mean, fucking everybody. I think that's I no. Think hold he, on, he, hold he on. has influence too, though, because of his platform. He was so. big with Kim K. 
Yeah. Um, apparently okay, here we go. He said he fucked her. And then, right? No, and then there was another one. This was the last tweet. I'm sorry. There was four tweets. Uh, I watched that. This was at 6.06. Listen, stop. This is serious. <laughs> this was at 6.06 <laughs> p.m. He goes, I still have a stole. I uh, can't say that about a lot of these demons I used to surround myself with. I it is a comedy no. podcast. Like, would you watch that? No, here's the thing. I wasn't laughing at that. I was like, I was laughing because we we're talking, and Luke goes, "No, no, no, this is serious." And then he goes, "He started talking about somebody's stool." And I was like, "Oh no, yeah, no, that's I didn't serious. say stool." What'd you say? <laughs> Jeffrey Star said, "Okay," and maybe I can't talk. He said, "I still have a soul." Oh, can't, soul. Yeah, can't say that a lot about. I still have a stool. I still take shits. Yeah, that's what I was like. Can't say that, that about really a lot of these demons I used to surround myself with. So, like, literally, he was in good with, like, Kim K, yeah, Khloe I'm Kardashian, sure like, all the Kardashians, all that, like, side of Hollywood, bro. Didn't uh, yeah. didn't he say that he got sexual advances from Kanye? No. Oh, that, that was, was Kanye. That's no, right. No, he did say he, that. But he, no, he went it wasn't, on, it wasn't Kim. He went on Impulsive. He went on Impulsive That's and said that about. it wasn't Kanye. He said he didn't like that was a rumor. Was it Kim? It was a story. No, no. no. This the I'd thing, still watch it. The, the made up thing was that Kanye and him fucked, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he went on and he discredited that whole story. He said he knows Kanye, he knows Kim. And that's not true at all. Kanye is the nicest person ever. <laughs> you guys are uh, assholes. Um but before, like yeah, like yeah, what do you no, think about that? Like yeah. do you think it's real? No. Like the adrenochrome shit? Oh, I don't think I think that there's a lease. I think I like honestly, the I don't push, Schlottenstein I don't put, backers, you know, the, like the whatever the fuck that guy's name is that people keep talking about now. Klaus um, Schwab? No, it's uh like something There's George Soros Stein something. Um I don't know. It's like this bit name that people are throwing around. They're like, oh, these are really the guys that are in the shadows or something. Like, I bl- I'm sure that, that shit is like real. But there's that. And then there's the guy who created Bitcoin. Yeah. But nobody knows about that. Um, do you know who Dom Panna is? Yeah, I've heard the name. It's the guy on um, social media. You've probably seen him. And he's like all, he like yells, right? So like, he'd say like, um, you've probably seen the clip. Like, oh, he's like, if, if, if you know who fucking created Bitcoin, it would go to zero tomorrow. You know, that shit. Oh. You've seen that clip? Yeah. You know, it would go to fucking zero. Yeah, the old dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. He went on impulsive too. He was also talking about how like um, if climate guy. change is real, then why would um, like the Obamas be buying beach properties or whatever right on? I don't know, and I don't. I'm not saying maybe, climate change. Maybe, maybe because they have unlimited money and they can go wherever the fuck they want to go. That's true. Okay, so here's something else about climate. Thoughts. There's this theory that I heard from my brother's girlfriend. She was watching a video right on YouTube, and it said. Okay, yeah, shout out Zach. Yeah, um, his eyes got so wide, like you said something fucking. I, don't know, I was like, he didn't get mentioned on this show, but no, dude, this conspiracy was that like, with the um, with the like the uh, the airline shortages or whatever, they shut down all the airlines, like sixty seven percent of what like sure. Southwest or whatever, because of the winter storm. Yeah, they said like that the government had some contraption to like control the weather. As crazy as that fucking sounds. Well, Trump said he wanted to like nuke a, a fucking yeah, I remember hurricane. That. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, remember they were like, they're like President Trump, how do you like pr- like plan on handling the the after effects of hurricane? I forget whatever it was. He goes, I think we should bomb it. Like, <laughs> like Bro, what? Do, you, do like, you remember? We when, should fucking nuke it. Remember when he was just he would go out there. He's remember like, the COVID press conferences? Yeah. <laughs> and he would just riff for like an hour yeah, to two it, hours. It was the best fucking. It was the best year. To two years ever. Oh, it was so it, fun. It was so good. Like, enter- Schultz, like I mean, Schultz entertainment. Said, did you guys watch Schultz's? Uh, Schultz's yeah. Schultz yeah. America. Yeah. 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 So. When he was like, dude, he had your group messages blowing up. And yeah. that was the same thing for us. I mean, he still does. Yeah. Because, you know, he's back in. Well, of course. He was like, could you imagine if like he was still in office? Like, if he was in office right now, he'd be just sitting in like. A I mean, fuck, how good the economy would be? He'd be sitting in like this the Oval Office with a fucking Xbox controller, just sending off nukes after hitting the X button. That's what we get. It would be funny as shit. But he'd be like, <laughs> he'd be like, yeah, I thought we should nuke it. Fuck it. Remember like one of the first like months he was in office, I think he like nuked that like thing in Iran. And everybody's like, World War Three is going to happen. Remember that? That was a real thing. Now, he is a war criminal. He should definitely be in jail for, for war crimes. You think Trump should? 100%. For what? Drone strikes increased under Trump. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. So he would just bomb, for example, a random church or a... Uh, he was hitting the X button. Or, or a wedding. A bunch of innocent people would die. But hey, you know, we're he, killing potential terrorists, right? I don't think... It's all the presidents. It's not just Trump. It's everybody. But I don't he, think he was like... Aiming for the right. church. The, the, fun, yeah, the, the funny part, though, was like they'd ask him, they'd be like, "But why'd you do it?" He's like, "Why not?" Yeah, he's yeah. like, "Fuck McDonald's it." McDonald's needed a bigger parking. Yeah, yeah. He, he's like, "Fuck it." He goes, "I thought thought he was there. Took a shot. Wasn't there. Yeah, who cares? Well, we'll <laughs> get him next time. Yeah, we'll get him next time." 
I got That's twenty. Thing, I got, he's like, I got twenty thousand more of these fuckers in the back. Yeah. Like, I'll take all you fuckers out later. Dude, isn't it crazy though that like we? So we have a really strong military, quote unquote. No, it's strong. Always quote strong. unquote. It's do you do you know it's that strong. Russia's nuclear supply is like ten times better than ours? It doesn't matter because there's a certain point where it's just like a certain amount of nukes will just take out everything anyway. So it's like, congratulations, you have yeah, a thousand. Okay, so we're going to nuke mu- Russia. Mutually assured you know, um, destruction, isn't that like the term? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, so here's the thing. We're going to nuke Russia, okay? Say we nuke Russia. Let's, let's, Russia's let's not. So, yeah, let's Russia's so big that, so we send a nuke to Russia. All right, we don't hit wherever, you know, where it's not like we're going to drill their nuclear power plant, you we're, know? We're not just sending one nuke. If we're going to send nukes to Russia, we're going to go, we're, we're, gonna, we're, we're, we're trying to flatten the country. Like, um, no, no, there's no, there, there's no like, oh, we're going to, now we're going to give them a chance. Like, yeah, there's no, there's no taking turns there. something like that. Realistically, no, you I don't can, think. can, though. If we're going to send one, you're not going to send only one. I'm saying, but we're not going to do that because mm. Russia's got, I mean. I don't see Russia I, as a threat. Oh, I do. No, no, no. Nuke-wise, yes. But, like, they don't have an economic threat. They don't have anything that could rival, like, our entertainment, for example. Nothing really trade that we get out of there besides maybe gas now or, or oil because, for some reason, we want to... Putin's a psycho. Saudi Arabia. Yeah, we want to be dependent on all these foreign yeah. countries. Putin's a psycho, but in the same, like, sort of respect, I'm I'm scared to see the his predecessor. Because, yeah, me too. Because, like... There are some crazy motherfuckers like in line to take that spot, and it's like all it takes is one fucking crazy Russian to be like, "We should nuke the entire country," and it yeah. goes, and it goes right, away. Right, but here's right? the like, thing, though: is so, so you have somebody like, as crazy as Putin, but like, look at North Korea. I mean, well, the, all well, the all the Kims or whoever. I don't think they have. They enough. don't. They, they don't. don't. But the I'm just saying, like, Russia how, does. how psycho they are versus you know all the other leaders, and that's the thing. I mean, I don't want to really get political, but. You look at these countries that have, you look at these countries like Russia and North Korea that have, uh, let, yeah, let's get deep into it. They have these big faces. So they I would just like to say real Kim, quick, you're not getting political in terms of like side. You don't sound like that. No. They have Kim Jong, no, I'm not talking about sides. Well, I'm just saying. <coughs> so America. they have Kim Jong-un. I think that's who it is, right? Kim yeah, Jong-un? Kim, Kim Jong-un, yeah. 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 I was going to say, who was his dad? Kim Jong-il? Kim Jong-il, yeah. Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Continue, I'm sorry. Jordan. Right, let's see. You have Kim, Jong- you have Kim Jong-un, who's a psycho, and he runs North Korea, okay? Yeah. And then you have, Kim, right. or you have Vladimir Putin, who's a psycho, and he runs Russia. And then we just have... like You're forgetting out of, out Xi Jinping all- from China. Yeah, that motherfucker's scary. He's the. Have you? No, nah, he's a, scary. Uh, that yeah, there's a lot scary. of shit on him. There's a podcast about him. Um, on the Economist. I was listening to it. Yeah. Fucked. Really? Like they took his dad for uh, yeah. opposing the Chinese government. He was this thing called a princeling. So he was like the wealthy upper class in China. And even though he was in this upper class that was protected, they took his dad at three a.m. Bro, or two a.m. in the morning. Uh, Chinese police. Means. Chinese police That's in the morning. <laughs> stop stop <laughs> the Chinese the Chinese police literally took him they put him in a forced labor camp he didn't see his dad for seven years until Mao died and then they welcomed him back but it was this whole thing he's went through so much shit Mao Zedong mm-hmm. the, uh, the, the funniest the funniest and most fucked up thing I've heard from like a, a dictator like that is uh, Kim Jong Il? I think it was killed his whole family. No, no he, are you talking about the golf thing? No, I'm talking about the missile thing. Oh. <laughs> he strapped. I think it was like his brother. Or it was one of it was somebody from his family, right? And he strapped him to like a missile. It just sent him to outer space. <laughs> like he tied him to the fucking missile and just shot that fucker up. It <laughs> just. That was it. <laughs> Zach, <laughs> Zach, if you're watching, you piss, just, piss me off. <laughs> dude, dude, dude. Piss me off. I'll shoot you to the fucking I think room. I heard it on Rogan. And Rogan was like, yeah, man. He just like kind of strapped him to a rocket and just shot him into That's the orbit wild. and just fucking you, killed him. Okay. Speaking of Kim Jong-il, did you hear that uh, he's Fuck, like the greatest so golfer ever? 18 holes. Yeah, yeah 18 I, holes. 18 holes in one. He also doesn't, he also doesn't take a shit. <laughs> yep. No, he, never. He, he has no butthole. He's like a god. Yeah, he has no. He that's has, what they say, and yeah, get to believe the propaganda, I guess. Well, that, that's what they do. I think there's speakers in North Korea that just blast propaganda into the country. But like I was saying, so think about the other countries, dude. That that we have. Oh my, my god, my buddy, the same one that me and you. Well, we'll skip that because it wasn't recorded. It was a test run. G? No. Oh. Um, my one buddy, he just went to Italy, and like he's telling everybody, like, "Yeah, I'm from America," and they're just like, "Is all the shit that's going on over there for real?" Like, because think of all the other countries and stuff like that, 
And then we have our country, which, to be honest with you, generates the most fucking storylines because of how funny the shit is that goes on over here. Yeah, we uh, because we, we have a leader who can't tie his own goddamn shoes. I'm honestly surprised he doesn't come to press conferences wearing. I slurred through that press conferences. <laughs> you wearing, sound like him. <laughs> yeah, wearing fucking Skechers Velcro shoes. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's going to need diabetic shoes here soon. He definitely has them. He definitely has them. He's like, ah, oh, folks. Ah, oh. oh, let me tell you. Folks. So, <clears throat> folks. So we have that, okay? Now, our leader's son is a cokehead <laughs> who's got a mysterious laptop that may or may not exist, even though everybody it's got in it. America... You've seen, have you seen the pictures? Yes, it's got to exist. I fucking love... I love the Hunter Biden pictures. They are so. Did you see the video of him? Did you see the video of, the or the picture pipe. of him? The, the crack, crack pipes. pipes? Yes. yes. That one. Yes. Did you see? Did you see the picture of him planking between yeah. the fucking dude? No. There's a picture of him planking between the kitchen table and, and <laughs> yes. the couch. So he's just like his chest is on the kitchen table and his legs are on the couch and his dick's just hanging there. I'll give it to him. Hunter Biden's got his a fucking hammer. I was gonna hammer. say, dude, his dick's huge, dude. Dude, he's got a hammer. His Kid's dick's got massive. A fat cock. It's but massive. Like, imagine being the. <laughs> Son of a vice president at that time, <laughs> and now his stripper—he's got a kid with a stripper. I, I know, I know. The, yeah. the kid want, or the stripper wants to legally change his last to name Biden. to Biden. His yeah. and, and give it, give it like ten more years. I'd love to see well, that the, kid's the, laptop the, too. The best was when Trump came out <laughs> at Biden for it, and like the fucking the things he's like, he was like, wife's wife's a dog, son's a druggie. <laughs> Enough said. Enough said. <laughs> yeah, you make. Listen, if it, it, argument's over. If it, yeah. if it wasn't for that first debate, because <laughs> he was so, for whatever reason, he was shit in that first debate. Trump? Yeah. Yeah. If he wasn't so off-putting, he would definitely, that would have definitely helped. I honestly don't think. Uh, I think it I've was, said it, it on, on, on podcast past. It was, it wasn't just the debate, dude, because we had four years of the shit that he was, you know, saying or whatever. And some of it that you agree with, some of it you disagree with, no matter what. I think a lot of the election votes came because people just didn't like Trump, didn't want him back in office. Yeah. The and COVID they didn't, want to, they didn't yeah. want to feel like they wasted their vote. Yeah. On, you know, voting green or whatever. So they were like, yeah, we'll just vote Biden. In. And then and then a year later, they're like, oh, we fucked up. Chappelle said it best, though. He's like, that Trump was so appealing because he's like, he was one of the only motherfuckers to be like, I know that the system is rigged. Because I'm one of the people who are rigging it. Like I, yeah. I, I know. And then he's like, he's like, he's the only motherfucker to come out of the house. Yeah. Say he's rigging it, and then go right back in the house yeah. and keep rigging it. <laughs> that like, was a, that was a great that was a great yeah. like stand up spot. Oh it was like 15 God. minutes too. Yeah. Yeah, he's but no, I, I feel like the reason why he won was because so many people were pissed off, right? And he was like, oh, we're gonna drain the swamp. Which news flash, <laughs> he he didn't drain the swamp because the swamp you can't drain the swamp. <laughs> the, you can't the, drain the, a the, fucking swamp. You can't drain the swamp. No, it actually the swamp's flooding. Somebody oh get gosh. Biden on the horn and tell him that it's fucking overflowing. Tell him to pick up some blinker fluid on his yeah. way home. Well, I feel like another reason why <laughs> yeah. Trump lost is because there was no common um, like problem, you know? Like Trump's whole thing was, I'm different. I'm not a politician. And, right. he, and we tried it for four years, and honestly, we were really successful with it. But I think the, another thing is that goes against Trump is people say that the – so I'm president for four years, and then you take you take over, and you get the economy that I created. Yeah. And then that, and then you'll get the, or whoever gets elected after you will get the economy that you created. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that for a goddamn second. I don't believe that Trump as political as, or as business minded as he was or anything like that, turned the country into how it is right now. And now, and now Biden's in office, not doing dick. And you're saying that this is all Biden's economy or Trump's economy okay. now. Um, what do you mean by this? Do you mean like the state of America? Or are you just talking about the economy? Just the economy in general. I mean, the state of America or this, the state of America right now is, I think, the laughing stock of all the countries. It's really bad. It's really bad. Now, and I think that all comes from Joe Biden. And I'll be honest with you. Really? Yeah, but we were fucked beforehand. I, I, I disagree. I disagree. As I well. disagree about it being the joke of the the country. Uh, I, no, I, I, I disagree about both things. I think it goes further back. Continue. Elaborate. I think about this a lot. I remember when, like, for example, I saw like my first race riot on TV. This is like. Listen, listen, I'm not trying to be like an ass here. Um, Race it, riot. That usually means you're going to sound like an ass, but... Okay, it was um, seventh grade. This was 2013 when... Um, Maybe not. The guy got killed in Ferguson, Missouri. Remember that? Oh, that's when, shit. Yeah. That's when, George that's when, Zimmerman. Yeah, George Zimmerman. No, yeah. no, no. It was Michael Brown. Well, 
Well, George Zimmerman. Which, whichever one came. George Zimmerman killed him, didn't okay. he? Yeah, yeah. So Mike, he killed Michael Brown. Yeah. That was when BLM, like, um, was founded. And that's when people started to get really pissed about how everything was going. That's when I feel like race relations kind of started drifting uh, from what they were onto now, like, what they are today. That's uh, when the division started, in my opinion. I think there's just always been division, to be honest. Well, Whether there's or not, high points and low points throughout the past 60 years. Uh, I'd agree. I just, I, I just don't think I, – I don't really think there's ever been many true lows. Like, and I think that's the biggest problem within our country is that. Like, there hasn't been that many true lows. Like, there might be lows that you think are lows, but – 9-11 maybe, was certainly a low. I don't think racially that was a low. No, no, no. I'm saying like in general, though. But probably it, but in general. change things. <laughs> yeah. From what people say, I was that, sick, that, like that, that caused different division. I, well, well, no, because it, it, what, what it sounds like is every time there's like a tragedy in America for a certain period of time, people come together like, and it's like truly like well, we it all. It depends on the tragedy and it well, depends for, on who it like is. Like 9-11, for example, right? Uh, we I stopped was, going to 7-11. I was six months old. I was six months old. I don't remember anything from, but from what like people talk about, like everybody had like an American flag. Like even though George it Bush was, really, was like, it was it depend again. It depends on what happens. Like you said, so nine eleven, you're attacking the twin towers. You're killing a lot of Americans. That's what okay, I'm saying. So like when, it, when it's like an attack on our it, country. Yeah, when it's an attack and it puts us on in a state of high alert or whatever, right. you know, that's when you, you come together, but then you have something like BLM, which not to undermine whatever's going on. No, because there's like but grassroots BLM, like, um, organizations where from like different seasons. Right. But like, I'm just saying like, do you see, it's not like when BLM or it's not like when the George Floyd thing happened Mm-mm. that you see like a separation. I know I'm sweating too, buddy. Me too. Um, you have a separation between like, um, people have police flags and people have like BLM flags. Like, yeah. You know, there's not a separation there, but when something happens as big as like the Twin Towers or something like that, you have all the American flags because everybody's uniting. I feel like I'm cutting weight right now. I know, dude. I'm Holy sweating my cock fuck. off. Well, you shut that fucking window over there. Because was, I was, it was making, making was a noise. weird noise. Another thing I could point to is COVID. You guys both remember like the first month, month and a half. What's that? When everybody was taking COVID like super seriously. What's, like, what's COVID? It felt like every, we were all like, okay, two weeks to slow the spread. Then it turned into two years, but what's COVID? Like early on, shut up. What is that? I don't know. Early on, everybody was in it together. You know what I mean? Because I don't. Nobody knew. Uh, there was no data. You know, we didn't know like data. what the survival rate was and everything like that. Yeah. I mean, I survived. So yeah, did I. Dude, you know I what's did. so funny? I did. So I hear this from <clears throat> my. I hear this from my mom a lot. Okay, and she works in healthcare. So you have when COVID first came out. Wait, you said you hear it from your mom a lot. Yes. I think it's not like I love you or like I'm proud of you. Oh, it's a parent joke. <laughs> that was that was that was that was for that was for last episode. Trey, you want to go there? Um, What's me, your full? Is your full name? Are you like Trey or? Is I'm not like, giving you any ammo. Fuck that. Fuck out of here. I just want to know. So I, I think like, I'm giving you your website's in the description. Name, yeah. yeah. You think I'm giving you live ammo? Get what, out of like, here. what's your like full first name? Uh, Anthony. Shut up. Maybe your full name is Anthony. Yeah. Okay. So hold on. That's I had a question name. about that. So what how'd you get Trey from Anthony? I'm just curious. All right, so like I'm Italian. I'm right. Wait, your first name is it legit Anthony? Yeah. What's you, your middle you name? Didn't know that? Lewis. You don't have him on Where Snapchat. Where the fuck is Trey coming from? I'm going to explain. So I'm the third Anthony in a row, right? I, and uh, my family is Italian. Trace. Three in Italian is Trey. T R E. Mark. Whatever the fuck that Mark is. So T R E. That's how you get Trey. Boom. Until I start calling you Anthony, Anthony Lewis. I I, <laughs> I, I, I don't. I literally people will say that to me in public. They'll say Anthony. I won't look. <laughs> really? my, my parents had never called me Anthony growing up. Really? I never heard Anthony. The only time I ever heard Anthony was my dad. Honestly, and like somebody saying Anthony. At you? No, so, somebody calling him Anthony. Uh, like is his first name Anthony? Yeah. I'm the third Anthony in a row. You're, you're an idiot. You didn't hear what he just said. Wow. He's the third Anthony in a I, set of Anthony. I'm not gonna lie to you, dude. <laughs> you're drunk. He said, when he said he's the third Anthony, I just thought he had three brothers named Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> three brothers. No. I mean, I'm, I get it. I get succession. it. What you mean, like, but uh, when it immediately yeah. hit my head, I went. Yeah. No. Even when I was like in trouble as like a kid, like it was. It's Trey. It was Trey. Trey. Anyways, back it, it, to my mother not loving me. So I hear I'm sure, from my I'm mom sure she a lot. does. I'm sure she's very proud. Yeah. She's all right. Especially, yeah. 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 Okay. So she works in healthcare. Did she ever make and you eat vegetables? Hold on. Hey, hey, time out, time out. Did your mom ever make you eat vegetables? Does she make me? Did she? 
Did she? Yeah. Um. She should have. They called me fat. Wow. Wow. My mom stopped after the divorce because she wanted to be the cool, edgy parent. Yeah, I, I was. She started feeding Trey zebra cakes. I was kind of. Tra- yeah. I tried to make Trey laugh. I thought it was funny. I thought I listen. I didn't want him to jump across the table. I've already been sending shots <laughs> since the episode started. So. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Continue. Anyways, my mom works in healthcare. You dick. And um, <laughs> did she ever give you any advice? How to take care of your health. <laughs> Let's go back to like multiple fucking episodes where I call myself fat and Luke goes, you look good. You're husky. You're husky. And now it's just me and him. And he's like, you fat fucking lard. You should ate broccoli as a kid. I like you the, fucking I, shit. I like the comments coming to your defense. I didn't even, even see him. Oh, sometimes Luke will like indirectly call you fat. I'm like, that was uncalled for. Hey. Yeah, hey that's really? That's I didn't even for. see him. That's so uncalled for. Like, those, those how people. dare you? <laughs> those, those On the shorts? Yeah, those yeah. people hate themselves too. So some people, yeah, dude. How about some dude with one hundred twenty four thousand? You hate your. I, do, continue. Yeah, I'm sorry. we're at war, by the way. I want to say this real quick because this dude responded again. I think really, there's this dude with one hundred twenty four thousand subscribers. Uh, doesn't post any regular videos. I saw he's that. all shorts. Trey was getting at him, and uh, he's like, oh, and he, this this imbecile commented on uh, one of our shorts where it was just doubted talking to us, and it was just him the whole time he's like oh man talking to a wall like there's actually people there when the very like next clip if you watch more than 10 seconds of the podcast it's very apparent that we were all in the same room together talking to each other having a conversation having a conversation yeah. he's like oh yeah real 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 in you know real cool talking to a wall and i'm like dude do you like post other people's content and pass it as your own um and then you post pictures and stuff of you eating like mozzarella sticks like I'm sure your life is so fucking like. Give me his Instagram. Important. I'm gonna DM him a picture of my ball sack. It, dude, he's, it just pissed me off because like when it's like those accounts on TikTok that just post Family yeah. Guy and think that they're content. Or creators. like Andrew not, Tate. Yeah, you're not content creators. You're posting other people's shit. Like, I can't yeah. lie to you though. I watch all those TikToks though. Me too. A family Guy. Yeah, and then I swipe and then I swipe. And I'm like, oh, their last post was yeah. two hours ago. Um, what happens when Family Guy goes away? Dude, I don't. They'll find, they'll find something else. They'll find something right. else. You know they will. They're gonna break. But um, bad. back to what I was saying. No, I don't really fucking think you're loser. fat. I don't really think you, I don't think you're fat Whatever. at all. My no, mom no, no, works no. in fucking you, healthcare. Well, well you, you 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 shit on me in jokes, and and I felt like it was good to give it, it back a little good. bit. It's good. It's good. Every yeah. now and then we go back and forth. That's fine. I don't. I don't. Like, I don't take anything to heart. Wait, I don't t- wait till wait till Andrew comes on the show. <sighs> oh, why we're gonna make fun of his weight? No, too? he he goes hard. Oh, all right. He made a joke about my dead grandpa <laughs> within oh. the first five minutes. It was oh. off camera, and I don't I don't care because yeah. I never knew him. But um, still, like everybody's like, holy shit, he made a he made a race joke. He made a George Floyd joke, like in the heat of it, didn't he? Yeah. I can make some jokes if you want. I'm pretty quick. Yeah, no, no, no. We want to be monetized. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you, you think I'm? I know how to like not get monetized. Like, I know. An angle your way through. I know how to get my way through. Your it. mom Come works in now. healthcare. My mom works in healthcare. <laughs> really? And she was telling me about like how this year the the flu is really bad. But I, the entire time COVID was going on, I was saying like COVID's just like the flu. Like COVID's yeah. the flu. All this like all this shit. And it's just so funny that like two years later we just take a 180 and we go no no this year it's the flu the flu is really bad this year well because people can finally check you and they have the data that right. supports it right but now you're just like okay you you got vaccinated or whatever and I mean I don't know what COVID numbers are like but you would think what's COVID exactly. What is that? I, don't know I haven't heard of many people getting COVID. I mean, actually, we were at my family Christmas party, and uh, my mom's cousins had to leave early, and we were like, what's going on? They were like, oh, our, our son has COVID. My girlfriend had COVID like two weeks ago. Girlfriend. I, you, I was COVID. just going to point it out. I, I, didn't, I didn't want to, We're not really. It's not really my girlfriend, but it's just oh, a title. No, don't go back on it. Stand your ground. It's just a title. Stand well, no, ground, we, I still met. I still like. You still hit? Made out with her. No, Sorry, it's not what I'm I still Sorry. kissed her. Did you give her a, a hug? Did you give her a I hug? I don't give a fuck, dude. I want to get. <laughs> I want to get. Co- I want. I want the antibodies. No, I was joking because you said I still. I like. We said girlfriend, and then Trey said, "Did you hit?" I didn't and mean you to said say that. I made out with her, and I said, "Oh, did you hug her?" Like I was making like a, a joke. I, I, yeah. I, I, yeah. I got the joke. Did you hold joke. her hand? No, I just brushed by her. Just like uh, we just rub fronts, like just uh, quickly. Ooh, rub front. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Touch Holy fronts. shit! Touch fronts. It was a big mouth reference. Penetration. It was What's a big the, mouth what? reference. Uh, okay. You don't watch Big Mouth. No. Did you watch no, Big Mouth you know, when it came out? Yeah. I watched Big Mouth. Did I'm you watch the new season? Mm-mm. I'm like, I stopped through. watching after season three because I, I had these weird dreams. Like this one time, I was eating out like this black chick, uh, and then I had to stop. What the fuck? Yeah, like no, but like I had. No. He goes, 
<laughs> no. Yeah, I was watching Big Mouth, and the next thing I know, I, I was in a dream, and I was eating out of black chicken. I was like, you know what? I got to stop watching Big Mouth. <laughs> well, I was, I, I, was, I was thinking, like, this isn't usual. You know what I mean? I'm in, not. In Big Mouth is the common denominator. Yeah, because yeah, well, it was always like, it was penis, uh, penis, penis, vagina, like so overtly sexual stuff. It was funny. The first couple seasons were funny. They were really funny. And then Andrew started, like, trying to fuck his cousin. Yeah, and then they had superpowers and shit. Yeah. That was weird. Hey, I have Sorry. a. I, I have a grievance with somebody on the show. It's not shy, so I think I think you can guess who it is. Um, you know, I poured my. I'm gonna lay my mic down. Here. I poured my heart into a edit that I posted today. Made sure to not only tag you but also tag the show. And I haven't heard anything about it. I haven't been on Instagram. Where what have you, what have you been doing? You're always on Instagram. The account tracks like 20 hours a day, and I know that's not me. And I don't think Shot has access to it. So it's obviously you. I haven't been on it today. Oh, right, right, right. I haven't been on it. Pour, I, I poured my heart into this, and you just... I checked in the morning. He was touching fronts with baby girl. Yeah, Shad <laughs> saw it. Shad liked it. I don't think I liked the actual post. I liked no, you did. Wouldn't you send it to me? No, I think you liked it. I don't know. Do I go on I have agreements right with now? both of you, actually. Uh, I have agreements with both of you. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to turn your mic down. All right, let's do this. It's copyrighted, so... I have agreements with both of you. Wait, no, wait, 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 why here. me? Yeah, your, your um, mic's on. Okay, so... Me and Luke, obviously, I'm the co-host of his show. Okay, sure. No, la 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 la. Should I just talk over Spins it? I'm sure to find. Such yeah, a good it's song. such a good song, dude. It is. Um, yeah, but I'm the co-host of his podcast. Okay, I, I can't even say this because he's not listening. So just. I mean, we could just. What, what's your group? Oh, is is, 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 with, is this with me? A little bit of both. Oh. I I am currently still on delivered on a Snapchat that I sent you. Like th- four hours ago. You know why? I. You know why? Oh, you were working? I was editing the video that he's watching right now. Oh, that's facts. <laughs> <laughs> no, that exact one. <clears throat> oh, thank you too. Uh, yeah, oh, wait, wait. What, sorry, I could, your mic's on now. What'd you say? <laughs> I said thank you too. I just saw the part where I slapped the bag. Oh, yeah. There's a lot more, yeah. <laughs> but I, don't th- I think there's the last one that you're in, I think. I'm not too sure. but This is cool. Yeah. It, Such a good song. Oh, dude, there's no other song I'd choose. I was going to do a mic song, but I was like, I, no, I can't. No, this fits. I have to do that. Who, 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 who was giving wedgies? <laughs> My buddy. Uh, that was a nasty one. They actually ripped his underwear. I swear to God. I believe it. Yeah, I do. There's so much stuff I could, like. My there's like pictures of my buddies like going like jumping into like uh, this lake like naked. Like there's so much stuff I couldn't put in there For real? that I was like, oh. like my buddy. There's like my buddy puke like projectile vomiting oh. after a night of drinking, and I was like, I can't put that in right. Like I texted him. I was like, what are the odds? Like I Dude, could like throwing put this in. up is the worst feeling. Dude, it was projectile. It hurts. You, you want to see? You have the dry <laughs> heaves? Dude, the yeah. dry heaves fucking suck. I greened. But I still have a I still have a bone to pick with Luke over here. Hold on. I'm, see, this is, this is what I get. So okay. I... Uh, Thanksgiving, but I ate, ate it, right? Like, and I got... You ate it? I got, uh, yeah. And I got the name of the sp- song that I put in my uh, montage. Spins? All right. Well, yeah. I was going to say it, but... You got dizzy? I got d- dizzy with my eyes closed. And I was projectile vomiting everywhere. Oh. Like, be, like at in North Carolina. That the, remember the trip, the trip that I went on. Yeah. Yeah, projectile everywhere because I over I was not like I got yeah, and like, I ate a bunch of food and I was like feeling heavy, and I was like, all right, let's Felt spice. Like shit. I was I was my. Violent reaction to it for some reason, Ugh. like violent, violent, like yeah. Yeah. like thought I was gonna have to go to the hospital. Oh, that sucks. I didn't though. Anyways, That's grievance fine. with you, yeah, asshole. Sorry. Um, I am the co-host of your podcast. Yeah. But regularly, I get left on delivered what on the Snapchat fuck, for Luke? hours. I wow. Talk to one person on Snapchat. I know who's that so person. I could literally be you leave me on open too. I leave you on open, but I still expect you to open my Snapchat. I open your Snapchats. Who's the person, Luke? Who do you think? To? I don't know. We can't. We can't drop her name. Wanna oh, bet? it's a her. Want to bet? Oh, it's a her. No, don't do it, please. Oh, let me look at. Okay, Snapchat. Mm. Oh, look. I low key might have left. Oh, look. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, look. I can't even find you. How about that? Oh, wow. oh look. Wow. Oh, oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, look at that right here. <laughs> Open. Open. And I sent you a chat. It was purse. You know what you look like? Right. You look like the white Drewski right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know how he works those he wears those like extra small like shirts. You know, like the extra small hat. 
Just up here. Just say something. The white Drewski. White Drewski. Uh, dude, the best. Look. My best Drewski clip is when he was interviewing. What was it? What was the dude's name? Ah, fuck. Who's the really weird rapper that sings that song that has the Little word Dickie? we can't say in it? No. Um, Every rapper has that word. Yeah. What are you no, talking about? No, but it, it's like that. Fuck. He. Tyler big, the Creator. Is he? No, big black dude. He. I Rick Rod Ross. Wave. Rod huh? Wave. Rick Ross. No. Rod Wave. No. He's not like he doesn't have any popular songs. Kevin like, Gates. No, that was a good he's got that was one a good popular one. song, dude. Look at that. Look at that. Like he like fell off. I can't fucking think of it. Sean Kingston. No, no, no. no. That was a really good one. That, that was, was a deep. Really good guess, but, that was deep but in the But Drewski like Holy interviewed fuck. him. He's like, hey, like when you say that word, like it kind of sounds racist. And then he says it again. Oh, it's like it's such a good clip, and I'm surprised you guys can't think of it. Dude, Luke said some brutal shit about you earlier. Really? Let's yeah. get into that. You said your hairline looked like the McDonald's logo. I was like, "Wow, <laughs> it's true. That's facts." <laughs> I actually, I wish, I wish I could take the credit for that, but I did not say that. Who said that then? I Trey, you fucking cocksucker! I, I didn't say it's that. The first time I'm hearing it. I didn't say that. That was Luke. Why do you think I said Luke Dude, said it? Luke if I said, said that, I would take credit for it. No, That's he wouldn't. He was too scared to say it to you. It's a good joke. It's a really good joke. It's true. <laughs> it's really true. <laughs> we got the Hamburglar up in here. You're a dick. Oh, what? I didn't say that. What's the oh, what's the purple thing? I'm loose. I'm loose. I'm, I'm, I'm loose. No, no, no. I'm no. What's, what's the purple thing from what's McDonald's? The no, it's not the hamburger. Oh, it's the the ro- Robert. Uh, the um, swiper. Like, no, that's door. You dumb fuck. <laughs> Stupid. Um, who is the purple? The purple thing? thing. Try Google it. Can you? What the fuck? Purple thing. The purple people. Eater? The purple McDonald's logo thing. Because remember they used Google to have- those exact words. Purple McDonald's logo thing. I bet you it comes up. Okay. I think it's called like Munch or something. Munch. Which, which munch. Yeah, be, I'm sure it's Munch. Which would kind of be ironic. No, dude. Um, I asked my mom if she was a Munch. Yeah, there's no Is way. Is Munch a new term? Because I, like I haven't heard it. What the fuck am I looking at right now? I've never seen this thing in my life. This is like a Mandela effect. Show it to me. Obviously, it's that. Yeah, yeah, it's him. Yeah, yeah, what's his name? Grimace. He huh? was Grimace. I thought you said Curtis. I was like, yeah, he was that's def- a weird <laughs> McDonald's. Curtis. He was, he was definitely born in 2004. For sure. I wasn't, sure. though. Do you, 03. 03. 03. Okay, yeah. same thing. Uh, actually, um, oh, uh, 2000. You guys seen, you have, you, uh, yeah. <laughs> have you guys seen uh, pictures of old? Show. Have you guys seen pictures of the old what? Ronald McDonald? Yeah, the like creepy. Like creepy, like when creepy. he first yeah. started. Yeah. yeah. Fucking creepy. Like, yeah, like uh, John Wayne Gacy type vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were yeah. you guys ever scared of clowns? Oh, did you see the Idaho shit? Who? They arrested a guy for the Idaho murders. I did see that. Yeah, dude, I did see that. sent chills down my spine because it was like close to here, relatively. PA. He got yeah. arrested in PA. Like, what's the significance with that though? Because he I was killed like, an entire house of people. No, no, no. He got the nuke. Listen, damn it. Because I was gonna wear a Gaze for Trump shirt on here, right? And it had like the police, like the Blue Lives Matter. Listen, it had the Blue Lives Matter flag, just- but like it was gay, like the rainbow. Right. And I was gonna wear that, and I thought it was so funny. And I was walking out of the house and my mom's like do you know what's happened i was like um she's like four four kids were killed by one man i was like i, I thought it was more than four i thought it was like five or six okay well no, whatever was four people who died and there was two left there was living. two left well there's a bunch of crazy fucks the fuck still, on a spree? Were any of them gay i don't know i had no idea what the significance she, you don't want to piss people off and i was like well i think i've done that's it. actually the entire goal of most In of our way, stuff we really yes. enjoy doing yes that. Yeah. yes um but yeah, bro, like that, not. that going back to it, that shit, yeah, sorry. creepy as hell. And he looked yeah. like a creepy motherfucker that well, you it's like, seen in an institution too. It was like a Michael Myers type of like, yeah. cause he like, he fucked up a lot. How do you fuck up that many people in the same house? How does nobody like turn around and be like, oh shit, this dude's like stabbing and, and like going crazy. How the fuck does like, how does he take a, like six people? Right. And like, the one dude was big. Right. What Wait, the fuck? Did you see like the pictures of the, I don't understand the, it. The one, the, the room. Yes, uh, dude. How the blood no. was seeping out. Yes. Of the the side of the <clears throat> past the siding. Yes, dude. Was it was terrible. Se- there was blood seeping out. I'm not gonna be able to go to sleep. No, the whole scene oh, was brutal. It, it was fucking brutal. It like, was. It was pretty bad. I was just like, I remember, I was like, I was like, what's the like, what's the significance of this? And I like had to revisit it. Yeah. I liked that. I was like, it was like two stories. Like really this one. motherfucker went on a spree and just mm-hmm. like vanished. That's the craziest part. Is he did it and he just like vanished. Right. Well, they were looking. How, at long, it. how long was he gone for? It's oh. been like a, almost a month. No, a couple. Like. I thought it was three, three or no, four. No, 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 no. It hasn't been that long. No, are we sure? I thought, I thought this happened like September. No, 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 no. 
Are you sure? I Holy know. fuck. Unless it happened in September and it's only come to light like now, but I swore it happened. Like well, the, well, they, well, they kept it quiet for a while because they were trailing his ass. They didn't what want him to get spooked. Oh, yeah. yeah. Remember that, uh, let's see. Remember that kid in, uh, I'm not going to say the town, but um, the kid who was like killed around here in 2020, he was like four years old. The baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you saw all the signs, right? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you just, you're good. So, sorry. You're good. Why it's all good. Yeah. So, um, I played football with one of the guys that was there. You During see, the murder. Yeah. Yeah. And we all it was he, a drug bust, wasn't it? Or it was like a drug was deal gone bad? It was something like that. He yeah. was a drug deal gone bad. He was a year above me. Um, But it was crazy because we all thought he was dead, right? Who and that guy? So, one of them, yeah. And so, we were, there was like Instagram posts, whatever, like pray for... who. I'm not going to say the name, obviously. but pray for him, blah, 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 like RIP. Justice was a big one. Justice That's for, for the kid. That's yeah. for the kid. Yeah. Not that oh, same, yeah. He's saying, talking about a guy that was involved with we, the... Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, yeah he, I guess he was like accused of... I don't know if he was accused of like killing the child or whatever, but he was definitely a part of it. Anyway, right? But he was like brutally wounded. We all, Like I said, we all thought he was dead. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. he was in the hospital. He ends up escaping... And then back, mind you, this is 2020, so this is two years ago. Yeah, COVID. I'm going he escaped down, the hospital? Yeah. He yeah. just ran out, and he's been on the, on the loose ever since, right? I saw a billboard two weeks ago yeah. of uh, Wanted. Yep. Right on 224 Four, for everybody yeah. to see. Yeah. His name, mm-hmm. big mugshot, or a big picture. It wasn't a mugshot because they didn't catch him. And he's been on the run for like two years. Yeah. 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 Is yeah. he wanted for the murder yeah. of the kid? Oh, I believe so, right? Yeah, the murder or just be. involvement in general. No, he's got it. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's the murder. I think at least involvement. Well, you know what's crazy? You know what happened like a year after that, which I'm pretty sure is going into my senior year. That kid in my grade died. Oh, uh, yeah, that was, and you knew him. Yeah, you know, I knew him too. That's I don't, I don't know anything about that. Yeah, a kid in my grade got. <laughs> oh, maybe I do. Shot. Yeah. At a gas station. At a right? gas station, dude. Was it the Big Apple? Yeah, yeah. I think, no, it was Gateway. I think it was Gateway. Somewhere on the south side. Yeah. Yeah, bro. That was some sad shit. Dude, super sad. Because he was sad. the oldest sibling, too. And, it, and his his dad also was killed. Super sad, dude. Yeah. It's like, I remember, like, when you, like, see that kind of shit, it's like, it becomes real, it's real. real close to home, dude. Dude, it, well, it becomes, like, really, like, real mm-hmm. super quick. Like, I remember, like, I was like, you know, because I'm pretty sure... Is, is it was your age. Yeah, but was it like... Uh, was it, is it? Am I right with the timeline here? Was it like beginning into last year? I think it was. I don't think it was after. No, it was before last year. You're not talking about the kid that got shot at Gecko, did you? No, it wasn't no. Gecko. No, no. It was on he the was south a, side. Uh, he was a, it was a black kid. He was alone filling up his... Yeah. 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 He was yeah. filling up gas alone and yeah, he got shot. Yeah. He was young. He was like 17. Yeah. It was a. It was. I. I think it was a. It was a hit, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was last year because my sister has a friend yeah. who used to talk to that kid. Yeah. So it's, okay. It's fucked up, bro. Yeah, I remember going into it like it was, you know, people. They tried to keep it. Hot. It happened. It happened before. Um. Uh. It might have been going into last year. I remember we. I had a podcast and it was like two people that knew him and we were talking about it briefly and that was in October of 2021. It might have honestly. It was in the summer. It might have been like. When did you start August, the podcast? August of 2021. Mm. So you're over a year. Yeah, it, it's been like a year. Uh, we're um, year we're implementing half. some new strategies here soon. Me and Luke talked. Did you see the video I sent in the group chat? I did, but you sent it like fucking one. No, I know, I know, I know. I, I know. forgot to watch. You got to look at it. It's got some interesting. It's tips. like really good. Like we should probably like really the YouTube algorithm. Like realistically, it'll yeah. It's always talk about Andrew Tate. No, well, I mean, it doesn't hurt. But back to what we were talking about. It's yeah. just crazy because like that shit hits home. Yeah, it's super real. Like I was like, I, and then I think that's like the final like that was like the final like straw for me when it came to like the whole school was the whole hush hush nature of it. It wasn't really talked about. It wasn't really like, and I feel like that's one of those things that deserves some attention. Yeah. Well, were they trying to keep it hush because I heard rumors about like he was like, gang affiliation. Gang affiliation. That's what they said on the news. They're trying I don't to keep it hush true. hush. I from what I don't being so young. I mean, I know it happens and it's wild because it's around here and with the school and everything that doesn't matter. I mean, I know it doesn't matter. You make you do the right thing and you you make a statement. You you talk to the students about it. No, no, no. no, That's not what I'm saying. What are you saying? I'm not saying about that. I'm just saying like for them to keep it hush hush. um, I don't I don't know where I was going, but I wasn't saying that that wasn't the right thing. 
of what I, you ever did. go on his Instagram? Yes, actually, quite frequently. No, not like not like that. Like I meant quite frequently around the time it happened. I was no, like, I know what you mean. Right. Well, even about I mean, wasn't there? There was a kid that died a couple of weeks ago or a couple of months Bro, ago. Bro, people our age have been dying. Yeah. Like nonstop. Well, the one that it was over. Yeah. Uh, it was over. Uh, yeah. Fucking. Um, thank or er, not Thanksgiving, Halloween. Yeah, so it was um. Where? Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, the mm-hmm. car crash, right? No, well, no, no, no. nope. That was the other one. The, the, See, shooting, the, 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 the shooting in Columbus that involved my friend Devin. Here. My friend Devin. It was his friend, and we'd only hung out a couple. We, we never hung out like one on one or whatever, but like we played basketball with each other, whatever. I I remember him throughout high school. Yeah. He I wouldn't even call him an acquaintance. I didn't know him that well, but yeah, Devin bro. Would always post him though. I know, yeah, I know who Devin is. Yeah, so. and then all of, like they were in Columbus. A couple of them. And just crossfire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then, then another one who went, another person went to the same school. Uh, I'm not going to name drop, yeah, but yeah. he died in a car crash. That's who I was. Two that's, days that's later. That's who I was thinking of. Yeah. And then, yeah. um, Fuck, there was a girl who went to uh, our high school, a grade above me. She died in a car crash three weeks ago. Yeah, that. yeah. That's I dude. The fact that, that the fact that there's somebody that we forget about some is like. There's definitely one more that I'm forgetting, and I feel like an asshole that I'm forgetting. There's a lot, bro. It's fuck. Uh, Somebody yeah. else died. Yeah. I don't remember. Let's switch. Let's let's, let's switch. I feel up. like an asshole. Let's, let's no, switch. but to, to wrap it up, to wrap it up, <coughs> yeah, it makes you switch, it makes up. you really think about life, bro. Like, cause like literally, yeah. we only get one shot, yeah. and when you're gone, you're fucking gone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let, let, let's let's switch it. We I want to talk about something else because that's it's it, listen that's a great topic to talk about. I, I I I don't complete like one eighty. It's not something to talk about. It I don't 12, like, 15, I don't 12, I, 20, I just don't like thinking about that kind of stuff. Sometimes it's like it makes me really it's, like it makes me okay. No, I remember who it was. I played bat. I, I played baseball with this kid. He went to um uh doesn't matter, but uh yeah, just out of nowhere. Yeah. I, I, is it the I, one that killed himself? No. I have a proposal for There's you, another one. For you guys. Drugs. Yeah. You guys want to go on a trip with me? Where? Overseas. No. Oh, okay. Uh, well, <laughs> where? London Town. London Town. London Town. England? Where's London Town, England? London Town is just another word for London. Oh. London Town what? Just London Town. London Town is another name for London. Yes. But you want to go to London with me? Problem is when? Um. Next... Month and a half. I mean, it what are you sounds, doing? What are you doing in London? It sounds good in theory. Seeing the world, Chad. I suppose it has to work, Trace. <laughs> Sometimes things don't add up. I mean, no, I know. It just, sounds good in theory. I would have to see. Let's book, let's, let's schedule something. I need, uh, you know. I mean, yeah. Well, it would, like I said, in theory, it to, sounds great. But let's let's, let's 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 try and pick like a, a day, a couple days. We can go, pick a date. Go over to London. That would be a nice. See idea. some shit. Make videos over in London for a little yeah. bit. That'd be it sweet. would be pretty cool. Yeah, like I said, I, my buddy went to Italy, and so I mean, he came back, and he just—you have like a whole new perception of life. That's what I hear, like bro. It's like, yeah. it, I mean, it's completely different from here, honestly. I mean, you think like we know all these places and stuff, but honestly, America, he, from what I was told, because he when he was in Italy, like America's not thought about as much as like we think about it because we live yeah. here and we've lived here our entire right. lives. But like the people in Italy, they're just like, oh yeah, like we live in Italy. Oh, America is America, like. Whatever. Yeah, An- another know. proposal for you guys, maybe. Maybe this one will be a little bit more realistic. Tickle me a little bit. Re- here. Realistic. Um, what about New York? Yeah, I would be down for that. How so about I? And how I b- want to go to a couple comedy clubs in New York. Also, um, that's exactly what I was gonna say. I want to go to a couple comedy yeah. clubs. Yeah. And let's let's see if we can hit up the Barstool office. I have a I have a friend that lives in New or will be like, living in New York. Not hit. Okay, sorry. I really need to clarify. Not hit up the Barstool office. <laughs> I mean, like. Let's see if we can, you know, walk you know, past you know what, it. You know what the end goal <laughs> no, is? No, see if we can talk to people from Barstool. Listen, listen, do you know what the end goal is? What? My end goal was, like, what? I always wanted to be signed to Barstool. Like, that was the one company that I would have this podcast under. As long as I could have 51% ownership, I would 100% do it. Yeah. I don't, that, that'd be great for, like, exposure shit. Print out some resumes, brother. I got mine. I just redid mine, actually, because of some other things that were happening. And I was like... You know, I was like, hey, let's 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 deliver some resumes to Barstool. It'd be wild. Why we'll, not? We'll go to the comedy sellers, give our resume, just give our resumes out, bro. Something that be they're always be hungry, bro. I'm going to Austin for my birthday for that because I think probably by then, Joe Rogan's spot, uh, Joe Rogan's spot should be open and like a couple yeah. other places. You gonna kill, uh, kill Tony? I want to try to go to Kill Tony. Kill Tony yeah. I want to make it 
I mean, where when we're going, I, I, he records on Mondays. Yeah. So it might be tough because I don't think we're going a full week there, and we're not going to start on Monday. Yeah. Um, I mean, it would definitely be a cool thing to do, but awesome. I, I don't think so. Imagine your name gets called. Oh, I know. I'd shit my pants. You get the 60 seconds. My, sh- my pants are brown already thinking about that. So It's yeah. crazy. It's so nerve-wracking. Honestly, though, dude, what a good fucking like, setup that he has. All the yeah. comedians talk yeah, about it. Like, Kill Tony, he's got it down, dude. And, he you know, he he's brought up a lot of guys. A lot of especially people. Especially with Red Band doing the mystery show on uh, Wednesday or Friday, whenever he mm-hmm. does those. And then he offers those guys like opening acts like... Uh, They've got a lot of people. Like, um, who's the big guy? Um, you talking about from Kill Tony? Yeah, I know who you're talking about. The Indian guy, right? No, not Indian. Um, he's, he's Chinese. Yeah, he, he Hans is. Kim. Hans Kim. Um, no, Hans. Hans Kim. Literally, then they talk about it all the time. Hans Kim was South Asian. Asian. Hans Kim was living in his van, and then he did Kill Tony, yeah, and I then that. he got signed by Kill Tony, and then now he's literally opening for Joe Rogan. Mm-hmm. And it all happened in like a year, two years. Yeah, it's fucking wild. You know what? I yeah, like I've heard like uh, you know stuff like that. Like, I'm, you know, I want to one of my New Year's resolutions. And maybe we could talk about this too, real quick. You know, because of this was going out a couple of days after New Year's. Mm-hmm. Um, one of my New Year's resolutions is to like start making videos again. Like I was on a, like a streak there for a little bit earlier this year, mm-hmm. and then like trying to podcast with one arm is surprisingly difficult because you wouldn't really think you needed to talk but yeah it was painful bro like in my sling like i was looking back today like the videos of like me talking to people like over like zoom and me just like wincing every time i like right. turn a certain name and go like because oh. i remember how bad that would hurt like you know like i swear a lot on here because you know it's more open but, like when i have like highly like established guests on from like FanDuel and all these things yeah. i can't just be dropping like Fuck bombs, like, like every, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 fuck bombs. bombs. Yeah, fuck bombs. I've never heard fuck bomb. <laughs> no, it's usually f bombs. Yeah, yeah. Like fuck bombs. Look well, at you being creative. I'm not, creative. It's late, bro. Like it I, is late. I remember, it like late. I would like move and I'd be like, oh. like, like under my breath. I remember yeah. the one time somebody caught it. It was like this picture. He goes, he's like, you good? Like, and I had to cut it out. I'm like, yeah. I'm like my arm. He goes, oh, and like he understood. Yeah. Because like he had the same surgery. Ugh. He's like, dude. You're Tommy John. Uh, no, I had a, uh, I got my la- my labrum my labrum tour and my mm-hmm. rotator tour. So, uh, so I had to get my rotator stitched back together and my labrum. When did you have that sling on? Uh, I think when we were like, started to work together, you had it on if I'm what, right? No, nah, there's no way. Or at least when we met at the bar. No, at I, didn't really? have, I didn't have it at, on a Hackett's. No, I got well, it. Fuck. I must be retarded. I, I, I got, shit. I got, I got the, the thing done in May. Oh, I, he didn't even hear it. Did that's he, okay. It? It's, it's fine. Continue. You got me. No, I said, I must be. Oh, it's which fine. is fine. It's fine. I'm just leaving it. I'm just yeah, leaving it. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, like I remember, like I got it done like May, and it took till like uh, August to like oh, even shit. get out of it, dude. And I, but I was out of it and done by like September, and it was just, I still can't sleep on it. Like I tell you this whole time, like I still can't sleep on it sometimes. Like, and it's one of those things where it's like I was like so optimistic like it'd be fine because he's like going into the surgery. He's like you know. He's like, you'll either be really fine and your arm will be like, uh, like you'll be like the next like Greg Maddox because if you work it out properly, you'll be stronger than ever. Your arm will be able to like throw much harder than it used to. That's what they say. And then he's like, but there's also a chance it's never the same. I'm like, that's nice. I'm like, well, (laughs) in the the moment, I was like, well, my options seem pretty limited as they are right now. Might as well give myself a 50% chance. I came out of it. I was doing fine. Even through like, um, uh, like you know recovery i was like fine i was doing like i was like way ahead of everything and i all of a sudden i remember trying to throw and i was like this 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 is no longer fun <laughs> i was like and i was supposed to go to, like i don't know if you guys know this i was supposed to go to college to play baseball yeah i remember like j- like i was supposed to go to a college i had offers to go play at places d2 d1 D3. uh i had t2 offers i had d3 spots that they you're not allowed to offer people at the D- division three level but they can work their way around it mm-hmm. their financial stuff um, and I was supposed to go to like this college in West Virginia and play. Um, and it was like, it was wild because like, you know, if you do something long enough for like your life, you don't ever think about not doing it. Yeah. Like, and it's like, you like, know, I love jerking off. Yeah. Imagine if like you were jerking off and you're like, Hey, you have 50% chance that you can never jerk off again. And you're like, I want the surgery and you do it and, you, come, surgery. and, you, and you do it and you come out of it and your arm just is no longer able to do this longer than five seconds. Honestly, I didn't want to bring jerking off up, but of course, when you bring up the being in a sling, what was masturbation like? You know, I learned to do a lot of stuff with my left hand. Like a lot. Like I was able I'm 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 almost as good now with my left hand as my right hand. 
Yeah. There's more than one way to jerk off. What, you talking about with your feet? No. Um, You got to look it up. I, I can't really reveal the secret, but... I just use my left hand, bro. I've been jerking up multiple ways I just, uh, since I was like oh, five. I feel like no, I know, I know yep, exactly the what you're little thi- Yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That shit. There's, there's also the... the you, you do this. The camera can't see it because I don't have a camera, but... Yeah. Just yeah. sit on your hand? Yeah. Okay. Feel well, like somebody else is doing it? Yeah. Well, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. The, Sorry. No, I'm ambidextrous when it comes to that. What do you mean by there's other ways to jerk off? Because I feel like there's jerking off, and that's like with he your not, left. He, he not hip. No. <coughs> I'm, yeah. saying, I'm just saying, like, okay, so there's... A lot, a lot, there's, of, lot, of, lot, of, lot of lonely nights in that sling, so... Let me just tell you, there's or jerking off... Or a lot of lonely your, afternoons growing up in seventh grade in the summer. There's jerking off with your left hand. There's jerking off with your right hand. There's sitting on either bro, hand. I've, I've been at this shit since I was three years old, bro. Come on, now. Three, three years old. Three years old. That's some Andrew Tate shit. Three okay, years. Okay, so here's what old. I'm saying. You could jerk off with your left hand. You could jerk off with your right hand. You want to know the first time I did it in public? Uh, what? Preschool. You jerked off in public in you, preschool. You're damn right. I swear. Really? Yes. It's like. Should you be on like a registry? No, because I did it with my back turned to the class. I oh, well, at least you were out. respectful about I was, it. I was in timeout. Back then, you know, you wear jeans or whatever, right? And you start so, playing with it? No, you just unzip the thing. Yeah. And that's back when I could tuck my head in, but like now I can't tuck my head in. So you were just beaten off yes. in preschool? Yes. I think you should be on a registry. <laughs> well. I'm pretty what, sure. What, what can I, and that's back before I could come, too. Were you, were you climaxing? You would climax, but you you know this shit. Dude. You know this. I, no. All right, fine. So uh, up until seventh grade, enough. I wouldn't, I would climb, you would climb it, you would get the sensation, but you wouldn't come. I didn't start beating off until seventh grade. Yeah, bro. I had a fucked up when it comes to like sexual shit. I mean, I had a great childhood other than that, but I'm, I was a, an early adopter per se. Early adopter. Early adopter. Of the masturbation persuasion. Of the masturbation persuasion. <laughs> Three years old. We were just talking about dead people. Yeah. Three Not ten minutes years ago. old. Well, speaking of dead, my meat. Ryan's YouTube channel Sorry. happened to be dead. My YouTube channel. Yeah. It's not even alive. It's dead. <laughs> Before it's, it's it even It's not starts? even a thing. Yeah. That's you have a YouTube sad. channel, right? I mean, I have like a personal one that like I just watch YouTube with, but I don't have anything started. Before you discovered porn, would you go on YouTube and like search? Yes. Yeah. yeah. How many times did you get caught? Dude, I remember I, I, I was like, oh, I wouldn't get caught. Oh, I got caught jerking off three times in my no, life. No, I've never gotten caught jerking off. I've never got caught. I've never jerking. gotten caught either. No. All by my mom. But I, I remember like I would, I would walk like YouTube, like big boobs or whatever. Like a kid does. <laughs> I remember my, me and my cousin, I don't think my cousin watches these, but me and my, me and my cousin would hit. If I would, so sorry. You would hit? I would. No, dude. You just said I, me and my cousin would hit. I'll clip it. I think you, I just fuck up my words. So me and him, I basically grew up at his house. Him. I basically grew up at his house. And so his parents had like a desktop in, in like one of the rooms. So I'd walk downstairs and like the desktop's right to the left or whatever. And it's like off. So nobody's really walking past it. But we would like Google like big boobs and like go on these weird porn sites. Not like weird, but like. Just look at boobs, cause that's the only thing you know. Like you don't yeah. know what vagina is, you just know boobs. Uh-huh. And so we would just Google big boobs, big boob women, and then you would just like stare. And I remember like watching guard. Like he'd be sitting there and like looking, and then like I would go like for five seconds, and I'd take a peek, and then I would have to like go run and like watch guard to make sure nobody's coming. It was so funny. Thinking back on it now, oh my God. But, like what? when you're a kid, like you do some shit like that that's really funny. When do you remember, like, first being attracted to ass? To ass? I don't have, like, a a set point in my life. I just remember, like, being I, attracted to, like, the, the human body, I, I guess. I do the, have it. I think body. I do. I Mine think. was, like, freshman year of high school, I think. Like, real life ass? Or, like, somebody on TV, you're like, oh, my good God. Like, like what kind of... I don't understand. Like, you said attracted to ass. Like, like, where, like, you started looking at girls' butts. Okay, so, like, it could be from on the TV, then. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't even on TV for me. It was like you know the oh man, I don't know if I can say it. Might as say well. It. It's almost one a.m. Yeah, just bullshit in here. At yeah, this point. I mean these are good conversations. These are these are one a.m. in male conversations. Go ahead, Trey. Right. Oh yeah. Oh, Kim Possible was the best. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing this for the clips. Hey, can I guess the other one? Yeah. Jessica Rabbit. 
What the fuck is that? What? Jessica Rabbit's bro, a baddie, I was bro. out here jerking off to the fucking doodle bops on my recliner, and then I got caught when I was like four years old. Yeah. He just said that he beat off to the doodle bops. <laughs> The doodle bop. Do, Trey, do you remember the doodle bops? Yeah. He beat off to the fucking no, the pink doodle one. bops. The pink one. The girl. The girl. Dude, the I girl. don't care who the fuck. Oh, yeah. She's fine. Have you seen the spoof of that? Look up Jessica. The spoof, like the, the anime porn of that? Uh, Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's no, exactly. No, I haven't. Why did you say it like that? Why couldn't you just say spoof? Because <laughs> you're telling me spoof, and I'm thinking you're beating off to. Cartoon. Have you guys seen? The I'm not. I'm talking have, about with Luke. Hold on. Have you guys seen the spoof of Lois? Rabbit, though. Have you guys seen the spoof of Lois Griffin? Yeah, I've seen him. Oh but. no, actually. Peter, Peter. Uh, just a rabbit. Dude, the fact that you beat off to the Doodle Bobs is fucking killing me. I Jessica got caught, Rabbit. so. Jessica Rabbit's a fucking baddie. Ooh, yeah. oh, she's yeah. too hot for she's a cook, a, dude. She's a bad. Jessica Rabbit. Flash me the... Huh? What What show is she from? Yeah. Uh, 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 Roger, who framed Roger, Roger, Roger Rabbit? Roger Rabbit. Who framed Roger Rabbit? Who framed Roger Fuck, I can't talk tonight. Uh, Joe Biden over here. Yeah. Yeah, folks. Ooh, yeah, yeah just, folks. Framing folks. Joe. Framing, framing my son. Oh. You're yeah, framing no. my son. Did you see the clip where he was my like, son. we beat Big Pharma <laughs> this year? <laughs> yeah. And like everybody's like, what the fuck? My, my son. What, what fuck my son. Big, big, big. Big, big. Yeah, yeah, big, 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 big. huge. How about when he, oh, huge? <laughs> he, was, he was like, yeah, my son died in in, uh, in combat when he died of brain cancer, and then he was also talking about how he graduated top of his class and he wasn't. He's a good dude. Like, my my <laughs> son, my my son is harmless, and John be like, he's a druggie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like my son has done. My son. My son is fine. Hunter is a great person. Trump, he's a druggie. <laughs> just like, just Have you seen those texts, though? Yes. Between Hunter and Joe? Yes. No. It's kind of fucked up. Because I feel kind of bad for the president as much as I hate to say for it. Biden? Why? Because he's, like, trying to be... I mean, he, obviously, he's a piece of shit. He was giving... He was giving... Yeah, but, like, he was trying to, like, legit be a dad. He was. He would, like, check up on us and be like, I love you, whatever, and... He'd Hunter, be like, I'm an eight ball in and my nose is up this no, fucker's ass. No, it'd be, it'd be, like, something like this. It'd be like, hey, son, just want to check in on you. Uh, I love you, blah, blah, blah. And Hunter would be like, give me a fucking billion dollars. <laughs> It's like a piece of shit. He's like, I need more Coke. Yeah, I need more Coke. My crack pipe is empty. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. My crack pipe broke, Dad. I, me he would one. literally be like, wire me the money by so-and-so date or I won't talk to you. Yeah, like, Dad, I, I, also, I also need a laptop charger. Am yeah, I, I need a laptop charger. And Joe, Joe, Joe was like, okay, pictures. son. Okay, son, I'm, I love you. Good night. Hey, actually, have you seen Joe when he's younger, though? Joe was actually kind of like a stud when he was younger, he no? Fuck? Joe fucked? Like, when he was young, young? Joe, like, young when he signed Joe the crime bill? I don't know what that is. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. Put Young y'all. Joe? You ever hear when he said we're gonna put y'all back in chains? Remember that? Yeah. And nobody said anything because no. he openly during a Congress meeting dropped the hard R. Yeah. And nobody says a word. And or everybody, when everybody in this past election was like, "No, Trump's the racist. Trump's the sexist." Bro, Biden he, fucks. Yeah, Dude, Biden fucks. Look at him. Look at Young Joe, bro. Jo- Young Joe. Now, Young now Joe listen, that cool. guy, I would vote for. How much to suck his dick? Oh. <laughs> All right. The, the, these were these two guys. Um. At the same age, I don't know how old they were, but that's 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 our two. <laughs> okay, I'm taking Trump there. If that's if that's like a 40 year old Biden versus 40 year old Trump, I'm taking Trump. From here, that looks like George Carlin. I'm still taking. I think I'm taking Biden there. On the lo- <coughs> bro, on the left, that looks like a young George Carlin. You want to talk about somebody who wasn't controlled by the elites? No, bro. That George guy did Carlin. not give a fuck. Not, right. Do you remember? Have you watched any of his specials? No, I know. I've seen clips. Okay, so he was more... I didn't take him as, like, the funny type. He was more like a guy that just... need to walk out of the studio with me because I saw Coyotes the other day and I'm a little scared now. <laughs> gotcha. No problem. Like, you got, like I, 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 I walked out and I just, like, they were in the yard and I, like, sprinted back up the stairs. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, shit. oh my God. Oh, my God. I was like, what do I do? And I just, like, I threw, like, a Coke can at him and they just, like, ran. I you threw like, what at him? A Coke can. Coke. I thought can. you threw cocaine at him. <laughs> well, I, nah. I found was cocaine. Hunter out there? <laughs> <laughs> Connor, go in my yard. I found cocaine on my shoe last night. What? In the social, yeah. Don't don't name drop. Oh, well, please bleep that out. We'll never get a six pack sponsorship. Okay, we'll just. That's our bar. Where's our flag? In the corner. Mm. Is it recording now? Yeah. Okay. Recording. See, I didn't know that. Okay. So back to I'll George just, Carlin. I'll just believe it. 
if you uh, if you've ever watched his specials, I never thought he was funny. He just like when he uh, spoke out against at the time what was like um, uh, conservative censorship. So like censorship in like TV, he had like the seven words that you yeah. can't say. Yeah, that was a good so, like bit. ass tits, okay. uh, motherfucker, whatever. Let's not go on the other ones because the other ones are still very. Yeah, I know, I know, mushy pussy. I, I think that anyway, but he pussy. had the ball. He had fucking balls, dude. I'm pretty sure he was. A nihilist or an atheist, right? Whatever. So he What's was like, if there is a God, which I don't believe, I think this is some crazy fucking shit. You don't shit. believe in a God. The clip it looks at it. Yes, sir. No. He goes, Get baited, if there's bitch. a God, Get baited. strike me dead. Or if there's a God, he'll strike me dead. He waited a little bit. Obviously, it didn't happen. Whatever. And he goes, hold on. Really? No, no, no. Here's, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll do one more. I'll do, I'll, I'll, we'll do a leg up. If there's a God, then he'll strike my audience dead. And then obviously, you know, because that's not going to happen. It, it didn't happen? No. But, like, the point is, like, he was just such a ballsy motherfucker like that. You know what I mean? He, he, didn't, he didn't give a <laughs> fuck. I don't believe that. I don't think necessarily it's a good thing to say. I mean, in a sense, that was his style of comedy, though. But like, he, he, he did he not would, give a fuck. He would sell out. Dude, he would sell out every place that he would go. Yeah. Him. I mean, it's it's just a different different time. Who's different your time. Who's your favorite uh, comic of that like that era? Like the Kinnison, um, Dice. Dice is my favorite. Dude, honestly, so Dice to me. Cat is, Williams. Uh, ah, it's a little bit sooner. Yeah, Cat's not necessarily oh, back then. Is that Cat Williams is like two thousands? Oh, we're talking like nineties, nineties, eighties. No, even back further than that. Further like than prior, that. prior and Dice and all them, they were. Well, Dice was in the eighties and nineties. What about the, yeah. the what about Gilbert Goffrey? Is he around that time, roughly? Gilbert was back then. Yeah, Gilbert. Yeah, That's but right. even Gilbert. he had relevance in the two thousands too. Yeah. But so like to me, actor, to me, sorry. Dice was very. Did you so early? Norm Macdonald was <coughs> oh killer, killer. Even they had Norm Macdonald a couple oh, years. Oh, so before, killer! Like yeah. up until on his. Podcast, I love Norm, dude. So they had they have a uh, uh, thing on. What's the fucking show? I don't know what it is, but it's on. It's on Hulu. It's called The Dark Side of Comedy. Um, oh, I, yeah. and they do they like break down all, I'm glad you yawned in the mic while you said that <laughs> thanks Trey sorry dude I'm dying um, <laughs> I feel like, I feel like I'm cut oh like yeah that was a good I, I, I need water like I'm cut I feel like I'm cut I feel it just feels like a song I'm like, fucking cut sweating, weight dude. like so, Me too. But they did a dark side of comedy and everything, and they did a thing on Dice. And you need to watch it if you like Dice. I'll watch it. Tonight. I mean, it's 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 crazy. So to me, in, in that wrap it up in no. that <laughs> era, in that era, it's really hard for me to like pick a favorite because I I like Dice, I like Kinnison. Like they're they were all so different that. They are their own brand. Yeah. So you know, like you have comics today that yes, they're. If you if you take them in a hole, so you have Theo, Bert, Tom, uh, Bill Burr. I mean, you, they, they all have their own style of comedy, I'm gonna, versions of things. I'm gonna yeah. die, guys. But what? Like, I need I need water. We'll finish this up. Bro. Like, give us two water. minutes. I need water. But like these guys, all like You're drinking your fucking diet Pepsi or diet. Coke. It makes it worse, dude. It makes it so much worse. Yeah. I'm, I I'm sweating. I feel like KP. Ooh, I feel like what KP is gonna feel like in about <laughs> a month from now. Just yeah, just cutting weight, dude. Uh, there's a real, real quick. If there's if you guys are looking for a video tonight, go to Stephen Wonderboy Thompson's YouTube channel. And he made this dude cut weight like like it would like he would cut weight like the week of a fight. And it's like these are the steps that you have to take, and you walk them through with the entire week, and it's like. You have to cut. You have to drink this much water this day, and only drink this much water, this much water, and keep cutting it down. And he like just made this average dude just like cut weight. He was on his team because he thought he didn't think it was that bad. Dude, you, you should see this dude. His like eyes sink in. Like oh. you should see it. And he's like, and he had to he had to make the heavyweight limit, right? That was a goal. He Jeez. made like spoiler. He did make it, but like the the video, you gotta watch it because he's like this miserable is yeah. terrible. He's like I can only drink a, less than this much water the Which final is insane. day. Insane. Insane. Oh, Wrap her up there, Lukey. Yeah, all, all these comics, they, like, created their own genres. Like, Carlin was the first to talk about social issues and bits and all that. Uh, and hopefully we could get to a point where we're, like, defining our own genre, if we could even be lucky enough to do that. Yeah, 2023 is going to be the year we make it, fellas. We need, we need, a, we need a nice, uh, a nice, nice... Computer to live edit off of. Um, if anybody's feeling generous, we'll leave our we'll cash tag in the and description below. Also, yeah, the cash tag, and also so literally, please subscribe. Uh, Apparently, we have a donor on the couch right now that we might would, be willing to contribute. Really? For that breadwinner. Yeah. 
you want to make a generous contribution. Well, we need a Mac studio. Yeah, yeah. That's what Rogan uses, I guess. I think so, too. I, I, I watched an article. Anyway, I told you, I will sell you my MacBook. I, we need a Mac studio. Oh. Anyway, well, don't have that. I don't want to ramble too much. Yeah, no, I need uh, water. I'm going to die. I hope everybody has a great 2023. Um, if you are looking to experiment, I hope you experiment, and I hope you find what you're looking for. Uh, if you're like me, though, and you're comfortable in your sexuality as a straight white man, um, I hope you have fun in that, too. Oh, real quick. I'm, I'm going to put an email in the description if you're cool with it. And maybe we'll, we'll, we'll have, we'll have a, a form to see if people, I love people who want to come on. I'm here for it. Open discussion board in the description. We send, have a send, guy that I'll talk about off camera, but he's from here. He has 173K. Yeah, send, send an email to the description. The email in the description. Of course. Maybe we can talk. All right, fellas. Have a happy new year.